Hello gamers! Welcome back to another video. And today's topic will be about clearance operation. And if you're like me, I don't have much time to spend every day completing the four quests. So today we will be going over my top four clearance operations locations. So let's go! Now I have categorized uh, this top four depending on a few factors like how far it is from the uh, helipad or the helicopter location, uh, how many mobs there are to kill, how many bosses, how difficult the quest is, and how long it takes to finish. So at number four we go to Miska Town and let's go. And to show you how quick uh, the four clearance operations is. I'm not gonna go and fast forward any of this, uh, any part of this video, so that you can see exactly how long it takes us. Okay, so here we are on Miska Town. Let's head on over. Now for Miska Town, I know the initial location is uh, a little far, but because of the type of quest and the ending of the quest, you know, it made it to my top four. I'll go ahead and show you later. Don't worry, this will be the farthest location out of all four. Alright, so here we are and let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we'll need a good flamethrower and maybe an AR. But flamethrower is fine. Alright, let's go. Oh, we actually don't need to kill them. Just skip that and get to that location on the truck. This is where we need to actually kill the zombies. Flamethrower should be enough. Once we're done, we're done with that. Missed one. Once we're done with that, we can go ahead and get on the truck. Kill the rest of the zombies. And we can start. And the only thing that we need to do here is just kill the zombies on the road. I don't think we even have to. It just feels nice killing all these zombies. <laughs> but you don't even have to. Let's see. As long as they don't destroy the truck. Which I think they won't. So which is good for your Dura too. And that's one more factor I considered um, for all these top clearance oper operations. Truck's still good. And we're done. See? And the best part about it is on the right side or left side our heli is right here. Nice. So let's go to top three, which is in Santa Pani.
Alright, this one is also pretty close to the entrance and exit. It should be right beside the evac point. Just right here. We can go ahead and get started. Alright. So, 10 second waiting time. We don't need to waste any bullets here as well. Uh, there will be a lot of alligators that you will see around, but you can choose to ignore them. No need to kill. Let's get in the water. Make sure you have your diving pack on. If you don't, you might need to get up for oxygen every now and then. But if you do, you can just keep going. You only need to collect 10 of these, or just 8? Eight, 8 of these? I swear sometimes it says 10 instead of 8. Maybe it's just 8. Anyways, it's just collecting all these medical kits. Alright, we're now up to 7, uh, we're going for the last one. Alright, and then we can go ashore. And then we need to rescue 4 people. Which is right here. Next one is right here. Next one is over here. And the last one is inside this little hut. And that's it. Just rescue four people. Uh, go back to this area. Once the four rescues have registered, you're done. That's it. Alright. So that's top 3, let's now go to the top 2, or 2nd place of my top clearance operations list and that 2nd place is in Redwood uh, Redwood, we will need to kill some zombies and one boss uh, but uh, due to the proximity of the evac point and how easy the zombies are to kill this is my top 2 it doesn't let you waste a lot of time so you will see when we get off just need to run straight right after you get off the heli and you will see that our little satellite is right here and we might have some people joining which would make this even easier than it already is. Make that four. So there will be three crates or containers of these zombies. First one should be easy. Next one should be in the middle, right here. Last one is this container right here, and it's just gonna be another handful of zombies. Flamethrower should be enough, and one boss. Not that boss, this boss. Three shots, we're done. Okay. And that's it for top two. 
if you go north, uh, some people already placed some slip, slip rope device right here, which makes it easier. But the evac point is right. What's this? Oh, come on. That's not, that's not part of this. <laughs> but it's just right here. Which is the reason why this makes it to top two. Alright, on to the top one clearance operations. I think most of you already know what it is. Let's go to Polar Tiale. Polar Tiale uh, needs you to defeat three bosses. So you're wondering why it's number one? A few things. One, it's it's the closest uh, clearance operations from he any heli uh, or evac point. As you can see, right after the heli right there, our signal is right here, just a few meters. And the quest itself is also very, very close, you will see. Alright, so we just head west. And that's it, that big circle. That's our quest area. So once you get here, you just need to activate this to call the first boss. I think they're pretty easy to kill. I don't know what level they are, let's see. It doesn't say. Take three shots. Next one. Takes three shots as well. Last one. Last boss. Takes four shots because I missed the third one. <laughs> and that is it, gamers. My top four clearance operations quest. Only takes a few minutes of your time to complete. And that's four out of four. Again, this is my own personal list. So if you think there's anything better, any clearance operation that you think should be in the top four, let me know in the comments. And uh, we'll see about making another video. So thanks again, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!